Hello and welcome to PlayStation Best Friends presents Faster Than Reloading, episode 10 for the week of June 29th, 2020. We're dropping every week to give you the rundown on all the latest gaming news you could possibly need. My name is Anthony Palm, and joining me, as always, Chicago's prodigal son, Miguel Alvarez. What's going on, guys? What's going on? And the Brooklyn bad boy, Jeffrey Mizrahi. What up, what up, what up? So, we are fresh off of The Last of Us Part 2 spoiler cast that we dropped last week. We um, you know, we wanted to get that out early because, first of all, I didn't truck through that game that fast for no reason. So, I wanted to get it out. But, um, Jeff, you know, Jeff was away, so that's why we're recording this episode a little late. Um, but we hope you enjoyed it. Let us know what you think. Um, I'm sure we're still going to talk about that game a lot going forward. But that was, Yo, you know, I, our, I the have major been thinking of that game every like, day. Spoiler talk that we're going to do. We'll try to keep it spoiler free on the show. Uh, I don't know. What, what's the statute of limitations you think for spoilers on The Last of Us? Um, month? Months. Okay. Yeah. Here's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, for a minute. At, at, at least, least until the PS5 comes out. I mean, out. we'll stay away from like explicit. Spoilers yeah, true. I know a lot of people with base. I don't know a lot of people. I don't even know a lot of people in general. But I know a person with a base PS4 that's waiting to play Last of Us uh, Two. Like until I think, like I think, like the mid-game twist is like a month before we can talk about that. But like we want to talk about like the ending. You know what I mean? I mean, dude, the fucking beginning twist. Everyone pretty much knows it, which is so sad because it's like, oh, that sucks. That you and were and, for that. and they know it without context too. True. Yeah, which sucks even more. But yeah, we won't be the ones to ruin it if you haven't heard it. That's yeah, if true. you want to, if you want to listen to all that, go listen to the last episode. There's one it episode. Was, yeah. Um, was it episode ten? I don't remember. This could be episode ten, part two. Maybe I, I think I named it as. What an do you actual... mean? It was, it was spoiled. It was uh, un- t- unnumbered. I thought. Yeah, but no, I named it. I numbered it because I'm trying to keep Oof. anchor. Uh, oh. making sense because the way that Anchor like labels everything, it's annoying. So I did list it 10. So this is technically episode 11. So stat correction, mid-episode. Ooh. This is episode 11. I'm going to fix it right now in the doc. Um, but yeah, so we got a lot to talk about this week. We had some uh, cyberpunk news. Not really news so much as, uh, you know, just more stuff to talk about. Uh, we got Sony's, uh, or the new PlayStation Plus news. games. We have uh, some info on The Last of Us that is not like actual game content related more just news about the game overall uh and we'll talk about some avengers like we mentioned last week and then a couple other uh news stories as well but why don't we start off with what we've been playing because it has been a week since we've beaten the last of us so i'm guessing we've played other things since then um miguel do you want to start us off uh you be incorrect with that because i plan on the game Damn it, I played the game pretty much 70% of the game again, which is kind of annoying, oh honestly. But I did it. I got the Platinum. And the uh, only advice that I could tell Naughty Dog on their games, why make me start the whole game over? <laughs> if I just want to the, uh, get the collectibles. Yeah, that's rough. Hearing how much of a pain it sounds to go back and do it's all not the collectibles. A pain. And the, what's time consuming? It is, and it's not like it's super painful, but it's just like I played through the story, and I I, I just want to skip stuff. And the, and the option that you get that um did you to turn skip, skip puzzles team? on? I took that out. Oh yeah, what what uh, difficulty did uh, you play it on? So my first run was just medium, which is the the normal one. I forgot the name of it. It's just the normal one. I think it's moderate. Yeah. Yeah, and Not for the collectible moderate. one, I just put it in, like, super easy. Like, I oh, just yeah, want to go to the one. Yeah, I'm through. just trying to get a collectibles, and that's it. I had the guide on the side, you know, YouTube. Uh, PS. Um, Who'd you use, yeah? PS. Powerpix? I think you changed it. Uh, PS4 trophies? PS4 trophies? Yeah, that's, that's yeah. a good one, too. Um, isn't Powerpix does, really usually powerpicks. on, like, PSN profiles or something? Yeah. I mean, it's one, just two, links. it's one of the two. It's one of the two. Yeah. I don't, I don't what's the, know what's the I forum use. I usually find power picks on? I don't know. Whatever. You find, yeah, it's a top. But so what do you think top. now that you have the platinum? Was the platinum worth it? Or do you think you kind of only Now that I have it? Because... Oh, it's fucking great. It, it's worth it. Okay. When I was going through it. What it advice would you give people going just... through it? Uh, what advice? Yeah, to people going for the platinum. <sighs> would you tell people to just be very conscious of collectibles on their first playthrough? No, uh, the first playthrough, just enjoy the story, honestly. Enjoy it. Uh, what I tried, I should have waited after I was done with the game, like a couple of days, because I 
after I was done, like the next day, I like started it over and like trying to get the platinum like really quick. And I should have probably taken a couple of days off to soak in, you know, everything, all the all the good stuff. Um, yeah. But other than I, that, yeah, man, like, it, like it's, actually just thinking about it. it, it's not hard, man. It's it's the easiest platinum trophy that you could get from Naughty Dog. I mean, continuing in the tradition of, uh, is it one of the easier ones of the last couple Sony first party games that have had really easy platinums? Uh, God of War, I think Horizon. Horizon is easier. I think Spider-Man. Horizon's probably the uh, Spider-Man's pretty easy. Spider-Man was pretty. I think Spider-Man's easy. the was easiest it? one. I think Spider-Man's Spider-Man the easiest. only uh, required. Okay. I didn't I do mean, that one, so I don't know. Horizon. It's uh, Spider-Man and Horizon are like right there with each other. I'm Tay has the platinum for Horizon. She just didn't play any of the other games, but um, uh, they're both pretty, pretty, yeah. e- pretty easy to get, pretty accessible to get. I would say. I think it's. I easy. think that's a cool thing. I, I think. Um, I mean, I'm saying Naughty Dog. This is like by far the easiest oh, one compared yeah. to past it's Naughty like Dog games. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm saying I'm trying to keep it within right. Sony first-party games, like compared to Resistance, like even Resistance Two, that are the worst trophies ever. You know, like five thousand online kills. <laughs> the um, online was the stuff that. I... So it's cool. I wonder if trophies come from a first-party, like from a above level or from a developer level. They must come from the developer level. Yeah, but yeah developer. It's inter- it's interesting to see some trends form. Um. Yeah. So what else did you? Uh, you said you only played Last of Us, right? No, I played that a, a bunch of Apex. For the the new okay. um, the special event that they had for collection weeks. event, yeah. How yeah, was I that? forgot the um, the name of it. I already got uh. You got it all. I got it all, baby. I got nice. it all. Nice. It, it, the new mode that they added is the um, snipers and um, snipers and that shotguns. Guns, yeah. So much fun, dude. Mm-hmm. It's yeah, you so said you're liking fun. that. Um, I loved it, dude. Are you kidding me? Uh, what tier are you in the battle pass? In the battle pass, uh, apex wise, I'm um, like apex. seventy. Ooh, okay, okay. So I, I, ain't, I ain't playing like almost daily. A couple matches a game, like almost daily. I'm playing it. Like today and yesterday, I didn't play. I, I didn't play some uh, that much. Anthony, you playing apex in. still? What nah. tier are you up to? No, I'm, no, I'm not. I'm he just, like fought like, it, and then he's like, I don't have a problem with game. the game. I just don't want to play it. I don't know what it is. Like, it sucks. there's no it's it, it's nothing to do with that. It, it's I don't know what it is about the game. I just don't want to play it. Like just <laughs> thinking so about fun. the game, and I'm just like, I just have no desire to play this at all. It's fine, man. You I love mean, hey, Warzone. That's, that's how I feel about it, also. That. So I feel you. Oh yeah, I love Warzone, the game that I also cannot fucking stomach to play. Um, Warzone, I love. Oh, I got, I got um. So sick. It's so bad. Fifth place oh, with the uh, quads fill. They all had mics this morning. It was great. Like a quick right before work shit. Like they had ride shields. We squad wiped. It was, it was just an all around like awesome match. Um, Warzone yeah, is seg- so bad, dude. Segwaying off that, I've been playing Warzone this week, of course, a bunch. Uh, some quick news. We're not really gonna say it in the news thing, but they're adding 200 players tonight. 200 player quads. Um, tomorrow like morning gig. Yeah, no, no well, t- download <laughs> it's, it tonight because it's a 30 gig patch, people, and you know exactly. how long fucking copy I made takes. sure to delete a 60 gig game just to make sure I had. Yeah, make sure you have 500 gig free on your hard drive or this fucking shit won't Christ. update. I love when, it, when so a game... Make sure you have two terabytes. No, I love when, it, when PlayStation is like, you need to clear 45 gigabytes for this, and then, the, and then you do that, and like you delete a game you really didn't want to delete, and then it, it when it starts downloading, it's like 700 megabytes. And it's like, why the fuck did I need to delete that much space? Yeah. Um, <laughs> when, when, out. It, when should like yeah. Sony step in with that? I the PS5. They, they, I, I, it's my the architecture view. of the I mean, system. I swear to God. It's, yeah, this I, is I, this I, is what I think. I don't really know the in depth, but yeah, that it's it's too far gone. But uh, for every update, for especially for COD this year, like every update is well, like thirty gigs. It's only an issue because act, because of Activision's file size is true but i think that the need to have double the amount of space is on sony you know why by the way it's so big because it's so fast they always say all all live service developers are like um yeah we have no time to really do compression or bug testing or shit so it, it's just like we're shipping these th- like things like super big yeah um these file sizes um uh, speaking of uh storage space though um just let me add an extra chapter in the jeffrey hard drive chronicles uh that oh true ps best friend listeners are aware of um so a couple weeks ago my hard drive failed sent it to seagate they sent me back a new or not a new a refurbished uh two terabyte fire cuda drive you what i don't know what i'm gonna do with that uh i don't think i'm gonna put it in the ps4 right now because it's all working with that 300 gig internal with the five terabyte external um so i think when i get a ps5 i'm just gonna 
throw the two if, terabyte in the if it's if, compatible. Yeah. Oh. No, no, sorry. I meant I'm going to put the two terabyte in the PS4 so I could st store away my PS4 as like a uh, system I could go back to whenever and use the five terabyte external. If it's compatible. They said, they said the my five terabyte external will work with the PS5. Who said that? Cerny. No, Anthony. I they they didn't this. specify. They just said with certain uh, compatible hard drives. They didn't specify what. They were, I which. think they were saying that for the internal because the internal no. was like... Yeah. Hold on, right. hold on. No, 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 no. What I, I recall, know. Anthony, back up this. Yeah. And what I recall, dur digital foundry talking about with the PS5. We're talking about the PS5 hard drive, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. The internal hard drive is going to play PS5 games. The external hard drive is going to be for PS4 backwards compatible games. So if you want to play PS5 games, oh, you're going to make it Xbox fit then? on the internal. I'm thinking of. Xbox they are says selling that, one. Xbox is selling those little cartridge looking fucking things. That look like yeah, the Xbox yeah, is selling okay. that weird shit. Okay, so you mix it up. Um, so yeah, so when I get my PS5, I'm gonna have you know the one terabyte suits the futuristic solid state, but then my five terabyte external. So like, if you want it to like work as intended, you need to transfer it to the like the SSD instead of having it on the. Um, well, yeah, no, all my PS. I mean, I'm not gonna have a terabyte of PS5 games at launch, you know. Oh, I know, but I'm saying like, if you want to later on, that's like the way to do it. I wonder how that works, especially for yeah. like the smart delivery games. Uh, where will Destiny be? Will that be on my external or my solid state? Well, it depends where question. you it want depends it. Depends on it. Well, no, no, no. But well, yeah, because you well, could technically use the PS4 yeah. SKU, right? Or there's I a don't new PS... I don't know. I don't know. When I'm switching Ooh, hard drive, is it switching versions? That Ooh, makes no sense. I mean, when you're switching hard, uh, if you like grab your hard drive, drive <laughs> that you have on the PS4 and you put it on the could PS5, you're gonna you you have to wipe it. True. Well, yeah, obviously, yeah. obviously. So you're gonna have to re-download games from the. Yeah. Be so annoying. Yeah, oh my god, I don't even bitch. want. I don't even want a PS5 anymore. I don't even want. To, uh, oh, it's so cool. All right, gonna, uh, moving just, on. Uh, um, but so yeah, so for what I've been playing, um, I'm going through the messenger. We might not even be able to afford it. I know, really. <laughs> um, I'm going through the messenger again on PS4. I'm going for the platinum. I'm almost there. I got the the biggest. That's, I thought you the got ass. the platinum. Not on PS4 right no. now. Um, did you play it on Vita? Is that on Vita? It's not on no. Vita. I switched. Switch. I, I beat it. I beat it's it twice. Not on, on PS4. I mean, I beat it twice on Switch. It didn't come to PS4 until later. So, um, but I got the most annoying trophy out of the way, which is you have to do one of the levels completely in the dark. It's not, but it's not like the dark Whoa. cave uh, in Pokemon Yellow, where like if you really, really look at it close, you can see. It's like you literally. It's just black. Like there's no hidden. Te like there's no. Um, there's no way to cheat it. You know what I mean? It's just all black. So you have to basically, I just watched a video of someone else doing it and I just memorized the pattern of jump. It's, it's really a pain in the ass, but it took me like, I don't know, 10, 10 15 minutes to learn it. And, um, it was hey, sat satisfying it once probably? I got it. Yeah. I synced it already. Um, so I'm not too far away from, from finishing that. And then I got ring fit adventure, which I, I gave a Shut lot up. of shit to this game when it was first revealed. And I thought it was stupid and I thought it was dumb. And I thought anyone that bought it was dumb. Uh, but holy shit, man, <laughs> this fucking game gives you a legit workout. The the ring, I'm not calling it a ring con. It's so stupid. But the ring no, you got fucking it. peripheral, you got it. the ring you peripheral got it. thing, the ring con. It's um, it, it's built so well. Like I didn't think it was gonna be it's built got that well. So it's, much technology in it, bro. It's insane. It's, it really is crazy how how much you can do with it. But it's like it's built very very well. Like it's very a very strong build yeah. quality and I was really At no by this point song. do I think like, oh I, I I'm gonna hold back. It's like this thing could fucking Yeah, like it's uh, a legitimate yeah. workout tool. Like this could have been fucking like a Peloton thing and it and Yo, be I put the problem. strap I play in my underwear. How about you? How do you play? Um I play I play with um like under armor like compression pants. Like, you got it, yeah. Because how, like, yeah, how would you can't you wear it with like the, shorts, yeah. Yeah, or, yeah. You don't want to go baggy. And you're in your fucking house. No one else is here. Yeah, fuck it. Um, um, but yeah, I'm so, naked. So fuck um, it. No, I'm I was really... thinking naked, but you don't want your your schlong schlonging around while you while you're running in place. Oh, oh my god, are you running in place or are you playing on silent mode? I'm doing silent mode because I'm on a third floor, so. That's funny. I don't um, know what I'm gonna do in the apartment. I don't. I think just do silent mode. Sound it's fine. Mode. It's it's basically doing squats instead of running in place. Holy shit! Well, oh wait, really? To move forward, you're squatting. Yeah, like you squat up and down. That's. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, I um, mean, it works. It still feels, you know, like a workout. Yeah. So, dude, I, no, the I run really... tires me out. The running in place that fucking tires me yeah, out. Yeah, so I'm fast. really impressed with. It. So this is the second day I've done it. Um, I'm gonna try and do it around like my lunch break every day for work. Um, while I'm working at home, at least. 
and um i'm really enjoying it and like it does make me feel better after i do it and all that shit so uh i mean it's just something for me to be active i like obviously if you can go to the gym go to the gym i'm just not a gym person i, I hate being around other people um so uh, yeah i'm digging it so uh, i'll uh i guess i'll check back in with that next week um and then i feel like there was something else i was playing oh um jeff was actually a total bro and for my birthday he got me oh, shut up. uh star wars episode one racer on switch and it is fucking great it is exactly how i remember it uh only you know a little nice. bit better textures um terrible mini map and all but dude this game i love this fucking game so much i'm not gonna go on too much of a rant about it but this game blows racer revenge out of the water that right like racer revenge is so bad compared to this it's so good it runs so well i didn't know how it was gonna run especially after that last delay that was like, they delayed it the day before it was supposed to come out so i was like that doesn't sound good uh, but it, so it runs great it you know it looks for an n64 game it looks good and um it's just got it's got the best wado clips what can i say yeah, you're welcome. Glad you glad you enjoy. Um, they actually did you see they announced the limited run, uh, physical edition for that game? I didn't. No, that's cool. Yeah, pretty cool for Switch and PS4. Uh, Miguel, what? Uh, I got a question for the press. Um, oh, go, uh, Mr. Anthony. I got a question for you. Mm-hmm. I'm uh, looking through your uh, trophies, and uh, mm-hmm. you have not beaten the game. No, the, I'm, uh, the no, messenger. I'm on, I'm on my first playthrough. So, oh really? No, I haven't gotten around. I just haven't got around to it. Okay, because I thought you had the you game for a while already. It, uh, yeah, how long have you owned it for? I got it a while ago. I just never got around to it. Like I just kept getting oh. funny. Because you beat it. You said you beat it like so many times already. I, on, I assume you like Steam beat it on, and on Switch. Switch yeah. On Switch, on I think Steam, I beat it like right. yeah, two probably times. Probably and then could have, have had like the that. Platinum already. If you just oh, had played. easy. It's not hard. I just haven't. Yeah, I just haven't gotten to it. That's literally the only reason. Oh, okay. I see. I'm like, oh, whoa, 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 what's going on here? No, the trophy I'm talking about is, um, I forgot what it's called, but it's the one where you have to do the dark cave, um, blind or whatever. I don't know if it says, uh, you know, in the dark or whatever. And then there's another one that's going to, it's not going to be hard. It's just, I have to start a new game to do it where you have to get from the beginning of the game to the end of uh-huh. the, the end of the queen of quills boss fight without dying once. So I just need I just didn't do it in my first playthrough because I was fucking around. Um, so I just need to start a new game. So I'm gonna do everything else and then I'll do that one last when I go start a new game. It, is it? Well, it seems like you guys are like playing something, but like right after uh, being done with The Last of Us, like I want to play something, but I don't know what. Like I, I have looked into like the Lego games, maybe buy one of them. Or, well, that's why I like, randomly hopped back I'm into like, Messenger because right. I was like, I just don't want to play Call of Duty. I don't want to play like, Apex. Like I just, I yeah. Should I get a uh, like and go back to Odyssey? Should I go back to like Days Gone? I'm like, dude, I keep telling you, Assassin's you Creed Unity. Gone. No, Days Gone. Play no, Assassin's Creed don't play Days Gone. Days Gone like, is so good. Like, should I just wait for or uh, Sekiro? I'm like. Sekiro. I'm probably Ghost just gonna wait. Ghost, Ghost of Tsushima, you mean? Ghost of Tsushima, yeah. I don't know what the fuck I said. I don't know the game Whatever. of the year, Sekiro. <laughs> um, I did. I did fucking think. Uh, think about that. I'm like, play no, Bloodborne I'm good. Before you play Sekiro. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm in like in that mood right now. I don't know what to play. Like after. Uh, well, that's why that I, I jumped into Messenger because I just like I beat Last of Us and I'm like I can't go play a Battle Pass game right now. That's like, what I'm I playing. Uh, I just can't go to grind in a Battle Pass game right now. That's why I'm playing NBA Live 18. So game of the year. Speaking baby. of NBA Live 18, uh, NBA, fuck. The you messed one. it up, bro. It's wow. the messed other up. one. You like it's the other wow. one? <laughs> this is my PlayStation Plus game. <laughs> total hack job is, uh I, I dude if it was 2k18 no, it would have worked so well um nba 2k20 and rise of the tomb raider 20th year celebration uh and erica are july 2020's playstation plus games and it's kind of wild today being the day we're recording this the 10th anniversary of playstation plus yep. uh, i of service. course the og since day one I've been paying my one, ass but I never off played PS3 before Plus. trophies were added. You got you got PlayStation Plus day one. Yeah. I dude, I thought it was a wild concept. Oh shit. Huh, me? I got bullshit on yeah, that. Oh that. 
You're My so fucking God. cheap, dude, that I doubt you gave him, dude. Day whatever money one. was. I'll show you the fucking email receipt no, right now, No, you know what? Now, he probably bro. did because oh, he's younger than us. We're, we were too old at the time. We're like, this looks like shit. Well, I'm not wasting my money. I was, I was a fifth. Hold on. What was it? 2010. So I was a 14-year-old with uh, money to spend. That's what I'm saying. Like, for uh, me okay, and Miguel, like, we I, were like, this service does not seem worth it. We're not going to get it. We'll I didn't, it, like... We'll see how it goes. I, I, we're both like, we'll see what happens with it, but I'm not buying it at first. You're talking for both of us. Uh, when did you get it, me. Miguel? I got it um, when I think Hitman Absolution was given for free. Whoa. Yes, that's free. like 20... Th oh, 10, maybe? When oh, was okay. Uncharted... Three added. See, but I, I kind of like. I only 20, got. Uh, I only got it when there was a game I wanted. I didn't have it. Like I never bought a year of it. Like I wanted PS4. it. I wanted it, but I couldn't afford it. Because I saw that the games that were given were actually decent, but at the time, uh, I couldn't afford it because the fucking PS3 cost me like a ball and shit. I had to cut it off to pay for it, and. um I wasn't playing that much because, you know, around that time, you know, you know party yeah, up your, a little bit, you your know. Your ball was cut off. <laughs> and I had to, uh, you know, regain it somehow, so I did. And um, I wasn't playing that much, but I still wanted it just because, you know, free games. And then I jumped in and just have, haven't looked back. I think it's the best servers that um, any of the companies have made, obviously, since Game Pass. Games were gold is uh, pretty good too, though. Like we got. Yeah, but they added it so game. late. No, it's. I mean, it wasn't that after far PS after PS Plus. It wasn't that far after PS Plus. Yes, they did. It was. It was like five years before they did it. Games with gold was five years after PS. Look that up, please. It was like five years when they started it, dude. Like four five or five years. years. How was it five? There, I don't think there was five years between PS Plus starting and the PS4 coming out. Games with Gold okay. was on 360. It was late 360. It was not that late 360. Uh, Jeff is looking. Jeff is looking. Well, I mean, Erica just came out. I think uh, what would it, what is it like last year? It's like an adventure uh, game, I think it is. Um, Games with Gold started with Fable in 2013. Fable 3, June 10th, 2013 was the first game. Okay, so three years. Uh, so after. Three years, yeah. But what were the games on PS Plus before June 10th, 2013? Uh, they had Instant Game Collection in 2012. Which that was, was... Like Little Big Planet 2, Infamous 2, uh, Motorstorm Apocalypse. Yo, they gave, was like, that every... Uncharted 3 as well? Yeah, dude, the Instant Game Collection was fucking I, ridiculous. I got, it, I got it for the Instant Game Collection and then... Canceled it so that they were just IGC, like on my bro. account, and then when I wanted it, I they had it. a Vita IGC also. All right, I have no idea. My email's like fucking broken right now. However, um, right, yeah. PlayStation so when, Plus. if you want to start downloading them, it's gonna be July seventh when you could uh, hop in, play some 2K, baby, because that's what that's gonna be downloaded like pretty much by everyone. All right. That's going to be, you know what's funny? They were showing a bunch of stats for, like, uh, most downloaded game for PlayStation Plus or uh, most online played game by PlayStation Plus users, and it's Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3 is, I like, one of the biggest games ever. Because I honestly it, would have assumed Minecraft. It got, No, because it got that free boost. I was thinking, yeah. like, wait a minute, how Black Ops 3 about Black Ops 4? I'm like, oh, my God. So Black Ops 3 was not only a was... Call of Duty game, which means it's also a billions. But, was um, that during the E3 that you game. went to? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's when they. Was, uh, I don't know August. why I thought it was Black Ops Four that year. No, when Black Ops Four came out that year. It did, yeah. Because and the nice little trend, if you guys have noticed, around this time, uh, NBA Two K, it's gonna be free. Because they did it last year, and I think they did it for uh, twenty. I wonder 2K. if this will go be five dollars on Switch again, like last year, Two K nineteen. Because mm -hmm. right now it's Switch. like ten dollars. It was ten dollars. No, last $10. year on Switch well. it was yeah, five dollars. Yeah, Switch was ten dollars. Hilarious. I mean, I that's just like a it. like four year old like, version now. So I mean, it's not like they're yeah. updating. Two K nineteen. It makes sense. I forgot the two Ks. Good um, games. Some other free games. Not bad, right? Free games are free games. Yeah, Erica. It's a movie thing. It's a. It's always thing. one of those wish... selfish things where it's like it's a like Rise of the Tomb Raider is a yeah. great game, but I already own it, so it's one of those like I mean, internal. No, I'm gonna make. Where it's like I want. I like. I want a new game, but like I can't get mad about it because it's a great game. 
I'm going to make the criticism. It is the 10th anniversary. I feel like they should do something a little crazier. However, I'll give them some pass and assume that it's 10 years after PlayStation Plus. It's going to be something big with the PS5 and they're just holding off to nah. announce it. Probably nope. not. I think you're going to be let down. Um, yeah, I probably like always. Um, in some other news, uh, Last of Us 2, Last of Us Part 2, uh, is now the fastest selling first party PS4 exclusive ever with more than 4 million copies sold through as of June 21st. That is, uh, the third day of release after it came out. Uh, so it's faster than Spider-Man. It's faster than God of War. Faster than Uncharted 4. Uh, and supposedly the internet hates it. So I guess no one's actually buying it. These are fake sales. Who knows? Right. Just total fake sales. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. They're not even fucking fake sales because they're sold through. That's insane. Yeah, that's the crazy part. That's not to fucking GameStop because you can't even buy anything off the shelf. So, quick question here for you guys. Drop it. Do you guys think it would have sold the same if hmm. we weren't going through the pandemic? Uh, all those leaks that came out, all the negativity that the minority community had like talked about on Twitter and stuff like that. Do you guys think it, it would still be at this number or would it be lower? I think it would have been or potentially it's the same. higher if it wasn't for the leaks. I feel like the leaks turned a good amount of people off higher okay. as well. Do you think so? I genuinely think the most the leaks could have well, turned off how was 100,000 that... sales. Okay. Mm. And to 4 million, what's 100,000? I don't think it's a lot more know? than that. Yeah, that's but a minority, I... bro. Okay, that's fair. I'm, I know, yeah, 100,000 is nothing. I'm talking fractionally better. I'm not saying it would have sold 8 million instead. I'm just saying I think it would have sold fractionally better. But um, um, I, don't, I don't know if the pandemic has anything to do with game sales at this point. Uh, maybe early people were like really like going. I to, wonder dude, what is dude, the people who were running out to home. Animal Crossing because it was right at the beginning. I, I feel like at this point, I mean, retail is open. You can go to GameStop now. So I mean, I know I know I mean, less people are doing it. It's a pickup. I don't, I don't think it has yeah, as much of an GameStop's impact. Alive. It's it's not that I um, it's not that I don't think it's affecting it at all. But I just I don't think it's as much as like with Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing was like almost like Pokemon Go level of everyone's fucking playing this yeah no i agree i agree that's not on the level of animal crossing but i still think people are at home and people right now were more yeah. inclined to experience a 20-hour game normally oh my god my life's so busy i'm out i'm doing this i'm doing this right now no matter what you're home and, I have a lot of people are at home bro and, and yes it's been four fucking months or three months since the beginning of this shit and, and it's worse. like yeah you think we're all used to it like but no we're still at home we still need entertainment yep. uh so uh, yeah so i, I think you know, that maybe gave it a million more sales and the fucking leaks and uh, and the anti-SJW bullshit uh, knocked off 100k max. So now, do you guys think it's going to beat Uncharted 4? Because that's the biggest seller. For all time? Yeah. Because it's at 16. I don't know. Uncharted 4 had online. And online games just normally sell mm. more, you know. Have less traded. Lost Legacy uh, had online too. <laughs> I don't think it has anything. I don't think that I don't Legacy, think it's be... I guess, came. Um, it was, it was, it was old online, so, yeah. Yeah. Um, because uh, Spider Man's around thirteen and a half or something like that, and then Charlie. I think Ford, I think you have to wait until the PS5 version. I mean, you have to wait in two years from now because once it's gonna get, it's a, gonna second get a boost. Boost. Yeah, it's yeah, gonna this, get a this second. holiday easy big boost, big boost. <laughs> uh, all right. Next up, uh, let's jump into one of the big um, mini micro E3 singular game direct streams uh, we had this week. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077, uh, Night City Wire, uh, Episode 1, actually. So this is going to be a whole series. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't mm -hmm. realize this at first until I actually watched it. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, I think overall the presentation was nice. Um, it had that uh, Xbox uh, work from home fucking Zoom call set up. I kind of like how PlayStation's green screen and like a uh, singular background. Um, but the gameplay they showed uh, is great. Trailer looks really cool. They announced a anime uh, for Netflix, which, oh, really? Miguel's giving a thumbs down. I, I thought it looks pretty really? cool. I thought it's it looks awesome. Studio Trigger. The Studio I'm Trigger sounds like a cool name so of a studio. I'm really excited I guess, for this. Yeah. No. I like their, their justification for why no, anime. No, they're like. Okay. Yeah, they're like nerds like anime, so we thought it makes sense. It's like facts, man. <laughs> All that stuff when it was popping, I was like, "Are you serious? Is this part of this?" And like, how hold the fucking man. phone. Don't you like Castlevania, that Netflix series? Never oh, watched. You don't? Okay. Uh, no, you sure. and I. I feel like you would like it. 
I was uh, the one that started. Right. I, started, I like started like I watched two episodes. And I was like, ah, oh, this is all right. Not yeah, I think I'm into it. Yeah, but, season, uh, yeah, I'm like halfway Anthony... through season two. I gotta finish it. Uh, I'm really excited for... for um for the anime. Cyberpunk. Seems... I mean, yeah. of course, I'm excited for the game, but yeah, I'm excited for the yeah, anime. Yeah, the Cyberpunk cool. anime. They, it's 2022, correct? I think they said that. I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. I think an anime is perfect. I for still don't know why they announced this so early. Oh, if like, they were to do I a live like action that. show, it would just be Altered Carbon. So. True, true. I, I, you know. we are, we've already seen, you know, it, because we, like it's a Blade Runner, you know, if we have to see another. After Carbon season one was amazing, bro. So I gotta watch season two still. Was it any good? Um, not as good. No, not season one was yeah, so fucking cast. good, man. I give it like a six. Yeah, season two. Was, uh, season one was so good. And uh, yes, yeah, so Cyberpunk two. they showed off. Great. Oh, way better than the first me. <laughs> what surprised me the most was uh, they showed there's like a little um, arid wasteland, like desert type thing. I didn't know the game was going to have more than a city environment. Uh, so just oh, whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, so you didn't it in even the trailer like so, when they revealed wait, Johnny Silverhand? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, so true. Yeah, that you was guys like didn't an outskirts thing. Went through all the articles and like people talking about because people had played this game for like five hours already. The first five hours. Yeah, I, I didn't go through that. I want to be. Oh, okay. I, I don't, you're I don't like. You're missing now. Oh, I'm missing. Okay, cool. Because I don't need so it. Don't don't. You're need. gonna need it. I mean, because you're gonna make the choice right at the beginning. Because the game, obviously, you're uh, able to create oh, your own character. What does that mean? Yeah. Okay. And yeah. then your check second choice is of three options. You want to be like uh, lower class, middle oh, class, yeah. or, uh, or upper class, and that is gonna depend your backstory. And where you're starting the game, like you could start in like in the in like middle of downtown. You could start like outside of the city. You could start in like the desert area, depending uh, what choice you get, like you pick. And your backstory is gonna be different. Your powers are I gonna be different. I assume they all have pros that. and cons, no? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I am so excited for this game. I am like rock hard for this game. Uh how are you? It reminds me so much of the best parts of the Deus Ex um, uh, Human Revolution, the first one, or the first remake one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that one was great. Yeah, yeah. The second game, technically. The Xbox. I'm not a fan of Mankind Divided at all. Uh, but Human Revolution, uh, it allowed. It was a stealth game. It was. It was a game that had it was like an open world, uh, open sandbox uh, encounters. But it also let you go loud, which was great. And it worked when you went loud. There were big weapons. Uh, that I feel like I'm gonna get the same. Uh, uh, vibes in this game because like you're doing fucking car chases and shit you're shooting out the window but you also can like be suave in a bar uh juiced juice for this game what do you guys thought about the detective type of mode that they have the, the, yeah like the what did they call it the brain juice brain oh, whatever fuck. brain oh, dance brain dancing brain dance yeah that's, brain dancing. that's not a thing that i really love about games you know what i mean like uh it's the, fine in batman it's fine played in... it I think it's a little uh, more like it than Batman. Yeah. A big part of it, uh, but their problem was it was too long, and they didn't uh, have like what to go or what to look for. Like the game just like here, this is what you gotta find, figure out. Damn. So it's like and, point and clicky. Is like point and, and click adventure. No, like you got like a clip. It's like depending like the ones that they had. Like one of them was like four minutes. So you gotta like look through the whole thing, figure out where is the where you gotta start looking. And then go from there. And like a lot of the guys that were playing and were like, it's like, it's not fun. Like, that's the worst part of the game that they played. Very like, odd. I wonder if like, they address that or if they make changes. I hope they do. Because pretty much no so time. far, that's the only thing that. Uh, yeah, because like as like, I'm watching the web webcast or webisode, whatever they want to call it, I'm kind of just like, this is fine. Like, this isn't really interesting it was me boring, like, at all. Honestly. Like, yeah, like I was, was kind of okay. like. It, was, really it was boring to watch. However, I have a feeling personally when I played, I'm gonna enjoy it. Uh, I just hope it's not too slow. You're saying it's slow. I it, hope it's just a little faster. Everyone that talked about it, they did like two or three of them. Like it's really, really slow. Because obviously like, you're gonna get better just because you play. Do you it, think it's something but... that w that'd be simple to change? Like just make it faster. Like make make the icon show up faster or something. Or more? faster or like know. or yeah. like have sections and the and like on the because. If you're looking at the video, like the clip or whatever, like you have the bar on top, like just have the a section, like this Preset is where you gotta sections. look from. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like Maybe five. What's the point? It would have been like a little bit better. Um, um, other okay, complaints so, yeah. is that you like meet too many characters, like like that, really quick at the beginning of the game. 
So you're like you're throwing in like to the wolves. Yeah, yeah I'm a Final oh, Fantasy fan, so uh, that's not a word. <laughs> like I'm, I'm used to it. Nice. <laughs> Uh, I do like what they said about how they were building the characters. They're like, when we made this character, when we made every character, we wanted to see their background, their childhood, how they grew up, like what they do for, what do they have for lunch? It's like, wow, like every fucking character, which I get, which is cool, I guess. We'll see how it all plays out. I mean, out. the game looks November. amazing. Yeah. I, I think this is really good. Flex the next gen. Amazing. I just want altered carbon in the game. So if that's what this is, is where you're, I think yeah. this is what it is, man. Gameplay wise. They were comparing it to Destiny. People, Ooh, like it what? feels like. Feels like now, did they say what no, this no, was no, running no, no. Like, on? Because it did feeling, look like it was running. The feeling of the guns, like felt like you know, like the control of the guns felt like Destiny. Okay. Which I think it's a positive. It's, it's really big, positive. It's a, yeah, that's big, big talk. It's a big yes. claim. Yes, that's what did, I'm saying. Did like, they say what the what what it was running on? In this video because uh, it looked like it was running kind of sluggish so the people they played it they played it with a xbox controller but it was playing on uh pc i'm, I'm talking about the actual night city wire video i don't know what because that I footage it was looked like person. it was chugging a little bit i so. mean yes but you gotta think that it was probably like 30 fps fucking like sony did the the, the stream the other day i mean that's it's... gonna run at 30 frames on ps4 right there's no yes. way this game's gonna run at i'm playing on pc uh pc because I need a game that's gonna. I'm going back and forth. My... I don't know yet. I'm I'm 100 going PC. Um, because it's. Uh, I mean, you I, you can't do ray tracing, I, so I mean, my I problem is RTX. that I, I just want to see what ray tracing in the PC, game looks like. I just usually don't play them because it's. I don't know. I just it, it's something mentally that I'm like I rather yeah, just. No, I, I feel that that's why I haven't really played that much Doom Eternal because it does feel like a disconnect from. Yeah. You know. Like, but I feel this, like I, I should this be game, doing uh, something else on PC instead of playing games. No, but this it's game, right. I, I need to get this on PC. It's I, I just, I can't deal with 30 frames. Oh, the long run, game. probably. They, I don't know if they have confirmed if it's 60 or 30. Actually, mm, it looked like it was 30. I mean, my but PC, it was on PC. Is, my P is plenty good enough to run this game. That, so That demo was on PC, wasn't on uh, one, of the, one of the consoles. Did they say that? On the stream, no, but everyone that played it played it on. Uh, okay, but I'm, I'm talking about the stream quality. I mean, it could have also just been a bad stream, too, so I don't know. Yeah, I think it was just a bad stream, dude. It also could have just ha had ray tracing on, which nukes performance of all games, so I could just turn yep. that off and it'll run at 170. That's probably something you're going to have to turn off at the beginning, bro. Because I think it's going to, like, mess shit up so bad. Because it did for uh, Battlefield. They had to pay. It took like a couple, like a month before it was actually running someone good. Yeah. Like get, yeah, getting good FPS. Well, what was that Ninja Mirror's Edge game that had the demo a couple months ago? Oh, um, Ghost Runner? I know. Ghost Runner. Yes, that one, that one, that one, that one. I played that with RTX on, uh -huh. and it looked insane, but it nuked the performance. It would be like 150 like frames uh, just on all high settings, no RTX. And, the and then I would turn RTX on, and it would be like 45 and the difference for consoles, they are going to have RTX. I think they're going to run better just because it's mm -mm. console. And there's, I think yeah, they are, bro. Mm -mm. No, I don't think so. I think so. I, I because be wrong, it's not going to be true ray tracing. That's why. You'll, th you'll think it's better, but it, it's not. At the end, bro, like, who gives a fuck, man? <laughs> I just, just, just want to know where all these people are getting TVs that have above 60 frames. Xbox is like, oh, up to 120 frames. On whose TV? I mean, there are TVs already. Yeah, but who I mean, has these expensive. TVs? Because even the ones that say 120 hertz, it's really not. It's like, it's 60 frames and then uh, some kind of stupid, uh, what's the the Samsung motion sense or whatever the fuck it is. Wait, dude, no, like, hold on. Why are you, sp you spin lives? Marvel Avengers on the PS5 will run at, on a high frame rate mode that targets, that targets I guess, it does it locked. Target 60 FPS with dynamic 4K resolution. Uh, we're still I talking about Cyberpunk, good. bro. What is that? We're talking we're about talking ray tracing. Cyberpunk. Oh, fuck. All right. And we're talking about ray tracing. Oh. Not, we're still on Cyberpunk. Uh, we still haven't moved to... Uh, <laughs> you're a little... You're not That's even what happens like, when you grab your phone you're and you're like, even like... You're like talking about the wrong thing. Porn, bro. The wrong tech oh, oh, thing so and close, the wrong so game. So like... close. Jesus. We're still talking about <laughs> Cyberpunk, all right? Are you guys excited for the game? Are you they guys getting day one? Oh, I'm really excited for the game. Of course I'm excited. Cyberpunk's day one. Cyberpunk's day one. Day one? Yeah. Okay, is, if it comes out for PlayStation 5, right? Let's just say the, the PlayStation 5 come like came out like two weeks before, that, right? That day. Launch game. Launch game? Where do you guys pick Imagine. it up? Yeah. Knowing that it's not going to have the... 
special patch yeah, that they're talking about. Yeah, I mean, I'm going PC, yeah. so relevant to me. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm sorry. Here, here are my day one games right now for this year. Uh, off the top of my head, that's how day one they are. Ghost of Tsushima, Destiny Beyond Light. So you're not picking. Wait, wait. So you're what? not picking up Ghost of Tsushima for the PS4? No, he's saying these are I the said, games he's getting day one. Oh, these okay. are all the games I'm getting overall. day one so far. Yeah, on the top of my head, um, Ghost of Tsushima, Destiny Beyond Light, and uh, Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> Fuck the next god. So those three games. So, I mean, uh, it is Treyarch with zombies, bro. I mean, come on, now. Nah. Fucking kill me. It's not going to be a real game. It's going to be Warzone 2. That's going to be what it's called. By, by Sledgehammer. And then I swear like, to God, they're just the never going to bring up Call of Duty this year. And then everyone will just... It'll be next year, November. And everyone will be like, oh, hey, the new Call of Duty. Uh, and then we're going to be like, wait, did a Call of Duty they're not, not come out this year? I don't believe it. It's I don't Activision. believe it. It's there, yeah, there, yeah, I know there is a, I know there is a game coming out this year, but I'd like... They'll fucking it's sell you so David Vondahar's toes before they don't release a game. You know, it's like, <laughs> they're putting something in a fucking box. Um, Marvel Avengers is the next thing on the list this time. Uh, so yeah, they showed their whole uh, Avengers War Table thing, hosted by oddly enough Casey Lynch, uh, known IGN harasser, editor in chief between 2011 and 2014. I don't know why no one picked up picked up on this. It's it was like a hundred percent him. Um, so very odd. Uh, however, um, the gameplay they showed was this Thor gameplay, and it looked, I mean, okay, like, okay, I don't okay. know, Let me stop repetitive. It doesn't Did you look watch as good the whole thing? Throwing the axe. I'm sorry. I watched the whole thing, yeah. Oh, no, obviously it doesn't. Yeah, it looks like there's potential. I, I, I'm excited to gamefly but, this, and I feel like I'm going to dig with one, at least one of the heroes, whether it's Iron Man, Black Widow, um, you know, one of them. What? Okay, a couple things. The gameplay that they showed with uh, Tor, it looked like kind of generic, if I'm honest. Like, it didn't look very, good. Very. PS3, but PS3 when, gameplay. But when oh, they man. were, like, showing after and the numbers were popping out and, like, and all that stuff, it looked a lot better. Like, a lot better. I don't know if it was just because they, like, rendered that specific thing and, like, they had it for a while already. Because when, like, they were showing actual gameplay, the game looked better. And the characters looked better. And supposedly Black Widow is, like, the best, like, fun character to play as. That's what I'm hearing. Because Dude, people already played it. I hope this doesn't get fucking anthem anthemed up. Um, I hope it's a good game, bro. Like, I'm, I yeah. really hope so. Because it's pretty much Destiny with Mario, with like Marvel. I don't know. Mario. There's so many fucking genres in this game, and it's like, why are you trying to be everything, bro? It's like, I hate to be the pessimist. I mean, the game, I have gameplay zero wise, interest in this game. I just have gameplay zero wise, interest. it's uh, the Marvel Ultimate Alliance type of which, game. Which it should be more. It should be more focused. It should be more advanced. You know, Marvel Ultimate Alliance is a pretty basic game for the most part. It's I just, mean, that's why it's for the license they have. This game just seems so blah. It's the fucking Avengers, and we're talking about... We yeah. have to justify to ourselves whether or not we should buy it. We, that shouldn't be the case. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, there should be a, there should be a tea And especially, like, them, they, but, took, um... they took uh, Crystal Dynamics off of Tomb Raider for this game. You know what I mean? It's like Bioware getting taken off of Mass Effect for Anthem. It's like, well, what's going on? I mean, I guess they wanted to make that, though, but... Um, I mean, man, just, maybe superhero games are just fucking hard to craft, you know? Fucking Rocksteady's been having trouble doing it after Batman. Uh, the Suicide Squad game, where the fuck's that? Like, I don't, I don't know. think it's, they're having trouble. It's just because the fucking movie bombed, and they were like, well, uh, uh, is it going to sell? Well, I think it's that. also WB selling all their studios and shit, too. Yep, yeah, have yeah. something to do with but, that, too. Yeah. Um, there, either way. Are that um, the, uh, Harry Potter? Cause they're yeah. making a game and it's it's like locked already. up or something. Yeah. It's pretty much locked up. Like the like the game supposedly it's almost ready like to like be out. Like but uh, and like, bugs and yeah and like but polishing all the stuff with um these guys and they might sell they might not like well, it's that, like a limbo. That didn't JK the rumor say falling off her rocker too? Yeah. Right? Did, no, didn't they say though? It's the it's same thing with that game. Uh, didn't they say it's not going to be announced at the D or the rumors are that it's not going to be announced at the, no. the DC fandom thing? No, it's not. Yo, that thing's supposed to be hype. If they show a flash trailer, I'm in. 
You think or fake? No, yeah, I don't know. I hope so, dude, because that the flash that we have right now. They said Ke they're not really Keaton, funny. right? Who'd they say is gonna be in the suit? Keaton or no? They said someone's oh, gonna Keaton be in the Batman is in suit. Talks for it. Yeah, okay, yeah, so no way they shot that already. That but that yeah. Um So you guys are like indifferent for the game, I assume? I I'm 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 a hard game fly, fly for this game. This. Yeah, Anthony's I thought you were gonna cancel it. Oh, I said, oh, yes. Yeah, so, oh, I didn't announce on the show. That was pre-show. No, no, uh, announcement. announcement. I am canceling Gamefly when the PS5 comes out. Um, I'm probably going digital what? and... Yeah, yeah, the one. I'm definitely not canceling. I, I still have, like, it. two more months. Like uh, I cannot believe card. it until it happens, bro. All I right. know. I've been a paying Gamefly member since February 20, 2008. February oh. 2008. That's a long time. Or, sorry, time. June, 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 June. That's a long time, so, my uh, interest Hello. for this game is like, eh, too. Uh, I'm just gonna wait until the like the reviews come out and see. Wait how for it is. reviews, yeah. Wait yeah, for the medical. Meta meta this has a uh, six point five out of ten written all over it for me. If, if it's a seven, I'll pick it up. Nice. All, all right, right, I like I that. I like that. Show respect. I'll Show see. Respect. I'll see how it is after a couple months if it's on sale for PS5. I'm not. I mean, they already said Dude, that. Uh, they said they're gonna add DLC for free, for free. so and they're adding heroes for so free. So what? For free. Anthem added, added free DLC. They added Fantastic Who cared Four. You picking this shit up? They adding Fantastic Four. You picking this up? No. Loser. Why do Next I care up about Fantastic list, Four? Whatever. Like they're uh, fine. Speaking but... of, yeah, I don't no, know. No, but they already <laughs> have right. Miss Marvel, who's already slapping people with her elastic arm. Like, yeah, what do true. I need Miss Marvel for? Right. Same model. Copy. copy uh, Mister, I know it's Miss Marvel. I'm just copy making page. a joke. How about if they add Spider Man? If Imagine. Sony, uh, if it's Yuri, no, no. If they it's Yuri. add Spider Man, they add Spider Man, but he's exclusive to the, exclusive PS5, to the PS5, PS4 vision. Oh my version. god, but it Savage. has to be Yuri, though. It has to be Yuri, sure, sure. But no, imagine Xbox, <laughs> Xbox How is dead in the water. What would it have been for Yuri Shot Lowenthal for that whole game saying, Hey, Yuri, to a different character? Yeah, that's pretty funny. I'm like, I, I was thinking the whole game, any time he would say, Hey, Yuri, to the character, I'd be like, But that's your name, like, that's, that's I don't know, it's funny, hilarious. Uh, Speaking of not hilarious news, uh, Microsoft has decided to shut down its streaming entertainment service, Mixer, in, out of the blue, honestly, earlier this week. Uh, didn't really tell the streamers. Um, they told, uh, told two some guys. streamers, yeah. The some only two that paid, really matter on Mixer, to be uh, honest. Ninja and Shroud, right? Yeah. Wait, they didn't even tell Stone Mountain? And someone else, but I don't know who it was. Wait, did it, it Gathalian? Oh, no, he's Facebook. Stone yeah, so I know much... Stone Mountain signed with Mixer, too, but I don't know if he... I don't think I he was know. as big of I a... I think they, they told, like, two contract. or three, and that was it. Mixer is partnering with Facebook Gaming. Facebook. I hope at least Mixer's technology goes to Facebook Gaming, because Mixer has, like, insane... It's the FTL shit, you know, like, the facet and light uh, lag time between the chat and the guy, mm -hmm. and the streamer? Uh, yeah, it's the insane. And the guy... And all the way. Or who? Um, mixers, mixers, okay. speed, uh, latency. latency. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, I was blanking on latency. Um, I hope Facebook Gaming gets that because I think that's just a good software or technology that shouldn't be wasted. I mean, Facebook um, Live in general works well. I mean, Tay knows people that do Facebook Lives all the time. And I'm saying, is the latency? Yeah, like latency seems level? okay. I mean, it seems Twitch levels at least. Mixer levels are insane. Um, you guys, so yeah, sucks. I mean, it sucks for sucks for everyone mixer, else, right? other than um, they were like in the platform and like streaming because I had no notice. How yeah. much was the also, mixer nothing. points for Paladins now? Also, it gives Twitch too much power. I don't. It's never good consolidating. You don't. You don't want a monopoly in a space. But how, what were you supposed to do when? The numbers are still going they were, down, they were and they gave so much money. Ninja and brought so much money for and hoping, it did maybe, and it did, didn't do instead, they instead of so pushing people, people they already have there since, since it started. And yes, like it did decent numbers at the beginning, then just like went down just because people are not... Twitch, this is my theory, Twitch keeps yeah. getting bigger because of Amazon Prime. Because you already have that that free five dollar subscription that you could just give to someone, that is key. Yeah, just got mine back. Exactly. Jesus that, is a fucking king, man, and he just controls key, society. There's a fucking. That's why people are still on, on Twitch. Um. Yeah. True. But I mean, I don't know. And obviously, uh, it's been now longer, so people are like already like. 
thinking of that when they're like wanna see someone stream. But uh like YouTube gaming, they have a mess. Like I don't even know how to like go to I like, like a real YouTube game. See someone that uh I mean, there people still streaming, and it's still yeah. a thing. And, right, yeah, but no, Noah J's huge guys, on YouTube gaming. Yeah, and, you know, yeah, YouTube and gaming some people like, gets numbers. Yes, yeah. like there's a couple guys that do insane numbers, but it's like but yeah, so no, hard it is, to figure out how to uh, like yeah. live for them. Courage JD on YouTube too, right? Yeah, they, yeah they've had a YouTube yeah YouTube it's gaming the same thing integration has been terrible. And it's Facebook gaming, it, no, 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 it's worse on Facebook actually. Yeah, Facebook, uh, Facebook is so hard to find. They get a lot more hard. numbers b just because if you scroll through it and it starts, they, they count it as a view. view. It's so artificial. Yeah. Um, yeah, because so that's that. that. Anytime that like oh. we would stream to Facebook, it would tell me these random people that I definitely know yeah, are yeah, not yeah, interested yeah. in me playing games on Facebook join the chat, and then they're immediately but gone. It's like, but no, it's like, oh wow, and maybe like, tapped on I it by mean, accident. Yeah, it's. And it's just gonna be harder for people that are going from Mixer to any other of the platforms to start over when they're like already like getting some type of income, maybe like buying a house or whatever it is. Like that sucks, not getting any notice. I mean, like, hey, you're out of the job. Dude, Hunt shot on such a good game. Um, yeah, no, Miguel, that sucks indeed. Uh, last up, just this little fun tidbit. Not really fun, but PlayStation now has a bug bounty program. So uh, if you find bugs, uh, you could be awarded up to fifty thousand uh, dollars for crit finding critical vulnerabilities for the PS4. So if you um, are playing bug snacks, can you like report all those bugs and you? Uh... Ooh, doesn't say you can't. Doesn't say you can't. So huh. send a picture of bug. Yo, motherfuckers, just send pictures of the cockroaches breaking that people news, find in the system. Breaking news! Breaking news! Breaking news! Breaking news! Breaking news! Breaking news! Uh, That'd just following up on the Harry Potter thing that we were talking about before, oh. IGN just uh, posted out a tweet 2021. saying 2021, and it's being made by Avalanche. Who, yeah. uh, I mean, that's, Avalanche is like, like rumors. Are they the one that made Mad Max? or Because there's yes. two Avalanches, right? There's yeah. the one that made Mad Max and yeah, the one that two. makes the, the Mordor just games. Just cause. But the Mordor games, too, though, is made by one of them. Or was the, oh, I don't... the Mad the Max one and Mordor making, games the same one? The one that's making... Uh, there's one in New York. The one in New York, which is the one that made um, the middle of uh, middle of Earth, it's the one doing um, Harry Potter. Yeah, that's so that's yeah. been rumored so, for a bit. So uh -huh. yeah, it's not supposed to launch until like twenty twenty now, twenty twenty one, right? Late twenty twenty one. Oh, it's the team that worked on Disney Infinity. What the fuck? So there's three studios. Well, oh is, my god, that game's not But there's be good. two different avalanches, though, because I'm like, I don't know. It's, it's too. I can't keep track. Either way, we'll see, we'll find out when they when they fucking want to tell us. It's Harry Potter. Who's there? I know. Who's Harry Potter, It'll right? sell. It's Harry Potter. It'll sell. Um, and people are already up. down with separating Harry Potter from J.K. Rowling. They're like, we're not. Yeah, so we're not right now it's not Harry really Potter. Either. We're just canceling J.K. Rowling. Is what people are saying. So. Uh, this week we have a pretty big PlayStation game actually coming up, a first party game, until it somehow finds its way over to... Oh wait, no, it's not first party. I think it's a second party game, technically. It's gonna fucking... It's an exclusive, there you go. Uh, Iron Man VR, uh, by Camouflage. Uh, this game's crazy, I played the demo, we talked about it a couple episodes ago. The demo was nuts. Uh, it was... It, it pretty much feels like it has room scale VR somehow, uh, with just a shitty PS... Uh, VR camera, PS4 camera, and PSVR headset. So, um, it's on my game fly queue. Uh, I will wait to see reviews, see if it's worth maybe just buying outright, supporting camouflage. But uh, that's about it we have this week for releases. Yeah, um, I'm not picking that game up right now because it's just too hot to play VR. Because <laughs> it's, it's, it's the summer. It's just Facts. too hot. That's a game that um, I'll consider get that and uh, Star Wars Squadrons. I'm considering getting maybe both of those around holiday time because it'll be. Oh, nice colder in my apartment and which means cheaper. i can use the, the vr without like losing yeah, 100 pounds of water weight so yeah and it'll be cheaper around that time of the year too so and just by uh cell wise if you guys want to buy um five terabyte um portable hard drive it's uh 99 dollars and amazon it's all deal it's not bad just letting you guys know if you want go pick it up Solid deal. collect the affiliate link uh thank you very much right. <laughs> <laughs> the one that doesn't exist um, all right, so I guess that's going to do head. it this week, really. I mean, unless you guys have any closing comments. Uh, I don't really know what's on the docket for next week. Anything coming out next week? No. Light week. Ghost of Tsushima's out in, what, three weeks? 
I want to uh, say? The 17th, so yeah, two and a half, so three weeks. Three Fridays from when this podcast it's drops. It's the third Friday we experience. Yeah. Um, so that's out soon, right. so we'll talk about that. Uh, we're all day one buys for that, I think. Yes. I am, yeah. yeah. Well, I think it looks awesome. I'm really excited for it. I think that I was saying before to you guys that that game is like the perfect Sony game to follow up The Last of Us because The Last Perfect. of Us is such a draining and I don't mean that negatively it's just yeah, yeah. you know it's, it's emotionally dark right it's, it's a, and it's a story driven very linear game and Ghost of Tsushima just seems like an Fresh. open an open yeah. world kind imagine of imagine the story is darker I know no but, honestly the, the story can't be darker the story can't yeah, be darker I don't know about that <laughs> I mean, uh, he's going out. It seems for like revenge. So there you go. There's <laughs> there's not... fucking daytime and there's gonna be nice fields of emptiness on my and horse. There's daytime on the last of us, dude. You can just it's wander walking. around on your horse and uh, um, enjoy uh, the color because yeah. the color yeah, was, it looks amazing. I was thinking also even so even if this game looked bad, even if I didn't care about uh, samurais and shit, it's mm -hmm. sucker punch. They fucking made infamous. I like owe them to buy this game and try it out. You know, it's like dude. Okay, sucker punch, right, bro. Before we um, we're done with this. I feel like that game, it's gonna play more like a um, superhero game than like yeah. anything else. I hope so. I think so. As well. Like all the smoke that you have, like the little mm -hmm. grenade thing that you have, seems like like they already grabbed it from uh, imp one of the the last infamous game. I forgot there was like some type of uh, yeah, Delson power that you threw. Yeah. Shit, yeah. I still never got around to playing Infamous 2 or Infamous uh, Second, second Son. Second I always Son. call it 2 because it's like the word second in the name. Second, yeah. Like it I is. know it's not 2. You oh, know? you didn't play it? Like no. at all? Oh, Three wow. Sons. I thought it was really fun. I, I it finished it. It was, it was not that I had no it interest. It's, I not, never it's got not, not better than the, than the other ones, but yeah. it was fun, especially for a <laughs> launch game. You played the first game. I mean, it was How's first launch game. First Light any good? It was all right. It was a good power. It was a good 10-hour run. Yeah. Was that a plus game, too? It yes. was. Yes, I know, it was, I know yeah. Second Son was a plus game, but I didn't know if First Light was. Um, yeah, but Miguel, you played Infamous 1 or 2? I played all of 1 and, like, half of 2. Mm. I didn't finish it. And awesome. then I heard what happened. I was like, uh, fuck this. Yeah, I heard what happened at the end of 2. I was like, that's not good. I was like, well, okay. But I'm... only in one of the endings. In the fucking... Yeah, in, yeah, the, no. in the infamous ending, he's alive. I thought, I thought... I thought I was... And the game's called Infamous. I, I can't believe they made the the good ending. The Remember good when ending uh, this game was coming out and the rumors were like, people were expecting, uh, like, oh, uh, Cole's gonna fucking pop pop. Cole's gonna pop pop at the end. I Remember know, that? I knew, he, I knew he wouldn't. Yeah. They did him dirty. They did yeah. him so dirty. I was about to say, I was about to make a joke about Jeff for some false marketing stuff, but it would have been a spoiler for something. So, I, I don't, oh, don't, oh, no, no. You, you know what I was going to say. You know what I was going to say. Everyone's but. telling the truth. Everyone's telling the truth. Um, all right. Wrap us out. Uh, yeah, that's going to do it for episode 11. Stat correction. Of Faster Than Reloading. We are on Twitter. You can follow us at FTR underscore pod. I am at Anthony Palm. Jeff is Brawl96. On, oh no, he's Mr. Brawl96 on Twitter. I got it right. Uh, I fixed myself rather. And Miguel is dar at DarkAngel1010 underscore on Twitter. You can also find us on PSN. Uh, I am the only X188. That's also my same name on Steam. And Jeff is Brawl96 on PSN. No Mr. And Miguel is DarkAngel1010. No underscore. Uh, you can also check us out on YouTube. I'm posting these episodes weekly. Uh, these actually go up on YouTube before they go up on the RSS feed. So if you really want to listen to us that bad you can check us out on youtube it's just youtube.com slash faster than reloading and uh you can also check us um i don't know where i was going with that i we actually this is the part of the show where we ask you to review the show so if you can go to itunes or apple podcast whatever it's called now uh spotify stitcher overcast downcast whatever you use if you can go to whatever review service that your podcast catcher has and give us a five-star review that'd be a huge help gets us up the charts gets more listeners which means that we get to do better content so we would appreciate that and uh yeah that's gonna do it any closing thoughts i'm going to do a ring fit sesh i think i'm gonna go for you got it too minutes. 15 yeah. minutes i think i did like a half hour or like it's 27 really oh my god oh, i think i have to so lower much. my difficulty i think that's what What's it is your i think I, i'm I don't know. Like, well, I'll, 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 I'll text you my challenge level. I forgot what it is. But I, 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 I have mine to 13 okay. today. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I forgot what mine is. 
Um, yeah, I gotta but do. Yeah, I'm gonna go today, do that. The, today's I was like, holy shit! Like I was sweating so much today. Oh, I'm <laughs> fucking. That's good. I, I, I mean, have a fan yeah, all day. On me. So. Exactly. Yeah, literally sitting on my ass. I'm, like, that's what I'm telling you, bro. You gotta it's go great. naked. Naked, bro. I, I go naked. Uh, well, no. Put the fan on. bro. Alright, adios. Catch you all next week. Peace out. Peace. I love.